I'm with a senior at Wellesley College. What are some of your best study tips? One, chunking, and two, interleaving. So these are both research-backed practices. I'm an academic success coach at Wellesley, so these are like research-backed practices that we've been taught um, in our training. And basically, the concept of chunking is like, say you have your weekend, it's split into like five different chunks of time. You have Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday night, Sunday morning, and Sunday night. And the way that I think about it is that I take two of those chunks for schoolwork and for studying. And because I'm a student, that that's going to be my number one priority. And then I take one chunk for like socialization with friends or you can. I'm with a senior at Wellesley College. What are some of your best study tips? One, chunking and two, interleaving. So these are both research-backed practices. I'm an academic success coach at Wellesley. So these are like research-backed practices that we've been taught um, in our training. And basically the concept of chunking is like, say you have your weekend, it's split into like five different chunks of time. You have Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday night, Sunday morning, and Sunday night. And the way that I think about it is that I take two of those chunks for schoolwork and for studying. And because I'm a student, that that's going to be my number one priority. And then I take one chunk for like socialization with friends, or you can take two chunks for socialization with friends, whatever you need, and then one for self-care. That's like cleaning my room, making sure I have my space organized, calling my parents, everything that I need to feel like my life is balanced so I can succeed in school. And then the other thing is interleaving. Study different things alternatingly so you're not overloading your brain in one subject. It helps with the retention and it helps with like keeping your brain engaged and active and not bored. How long do you study each topic? Uh, whatever kind of, I, I experiment with it. Sometimes it's like two hours feels like a good productive chunk for me. So I'll take two hours to do my math pizza and then two hours to do like another reading for another class or something like that. As a student success coach, what do you say to students who are afraid to get help? Everyone wants you to succeed and the best way to succeed is to ask for help especially in college i know it's like a daunting task to be in this new environment where everybody feels like they have all of their stuff put together but it's not true ask for help people are happy to help you